But first, he left for work and never came home. Tonight, a family's heartbreak after police say a father of three was killed by a drunk driver. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Gilma Avalos. We have new information tonight about that tragedy in Queens. A Lyft driver killed when that suspected drunk driver slammed into his car. His name was Mohammed Hossein. He was a father of three who came to this country to make a better life for himself and for his family. Tonight, his wife and young children are in shock, grieving an unthinkable loss. News 4's Ida Siegel spoke with the family and she is live in Maspeth, Queens, where that crash happened. Just devastating, Ida. And Gilma, if you just take one look at the vehicles involved, you can only imagine how horrific this crash was. They're both still here on scene behind me here. This is the car of the alleged drunk driver. Meanwhile, the Lyft driver, as you mentioned, is dead tonight. His family feeling the force of that impact more than anyone else. Surveillance video shows the crash that killed 48-year-old Mohammed Hossein, a beloved family man driving for Lyft overnight, his car ending up here, smashed against a brick wall on Elliott Avenue near Fresh Pond Road. Strong driver killed my brother-in-law, and the whole family is just now is just devastated. Mohammed's family devastated tonight, especially when police told them this father of three was killed by a drunk driver without a license. He was such a great man that he he used to work Uber and Lyft, got his car, paid off his car, still works. And when I was trying to go into nursing school, he paid everything. Police arrested 22-year-old Eric Chimborazo, who is also in the hospital but will survive. Witnesses say the crash was terrifying. When I saw it, you know, I, I knew it was really, really bad. Everyone did. There were people jumping out of their cars and everything, trying to help, but they couldn't get these guys out. Police say Chimborazo ran away at first, but then came back. Enrique Espinosa says he tried to help him too, but he reeked of alcohol. I see the explosion. Too much. <sighs> And this guy flight this side. And I want to help the people. And the guy is and the driver, Bangladesh, he died or right away. The littlest of Muhammad's children still don't know what happened to their dad. The family reluctant to shatter their world. I don't know how to tell my niece. She doesn't know. She doesn't know why we're crying. She's eight years old. She can't understand the concept. My nephew's scared. He's in denial. We just don't know where to go from here. The family has set up a GoFundMe page to help the children get through this. Meanwhile, the driver of the other car has been charged with DWI and vehicular manslaughter. Reporting live from Massbeth, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York. Ida, thank you. It was a dangerous night on the roads. In just a six-hour time span, there were at least two other serious crashes in Queens, just a few miles apart. Two hit-and-run accidents, one in Jamaica, the other in Flushing. No arrests yet in either of these cases. Both victims are expected to be okay.